I'm Superman. We need to know your intentions. I am Raiden, God of Thunder. With me are the mightiest warriors in all the realms. We have come to challenge you in mortal combat. You will be defeated. Don't be so sure, Raiden. If you want to fight, you'll find my friends and I are up to the challenge. Crossover games have produced some very strange combinations over the years. Just take a look at the Kingdom Hearts role-playing games, or Capcom's vs. fighting series, and you'll get a good idea of what I mean. Now you're about to lay eyes on the now-defunct Midway's take on the idea. I am the one and only Impulse Kid 86 and this is Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. What's interesting to note about this particular crossover event is that unlike Capcom's numerous joint ventures with Marvel, NK vs. DCU actually brings the plotline to the forefront rather than leaving it as a barely mentioned excuse. The story kicks off in the Mortal Kombat universe, where the Thunder God Raiden brings an end to his confrontation with the wicked Shao Kahn by blasting him through a portal. In the city of Metropolis, Superman, having just thwarted the evil Darkseid's latest invasion, winds up using the same stroke of brilliance to prevent the tyrant's escape. And from there, things start going straight to the crapper, when characters from one dimension are transported to the other as the two realms begin merging into one. On top of that, everyone starts succumbing to the influence of a mysterious combat rage that not only affects them differently, like, for example, strengthening the Joker or weakening Superman, What's happening to me? It must have a basis in magic. But also turns them into a bunch of irrational dickwads ready to beat the ever-loving shit out of anything that moves. Right off the bat, players can choose from either side of the cast, gaining control over numerous characters as they progress. The Mortal Kombat cast includes longtime favorites Scorpion and Sub-Zero, as well as Liu Kang, Jax, Sonya Blade, Princess Kitana, Baraka, Kano, Raiden, and Shang Tsung, while the DC Universe cast features the holy trinity of Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, in addition to the Green Lantern, Captain Marvel, The Flash, The Joker, Deathstroke the Terminator, Lex Luthor, and Catwoman. Now I imagine some of you are wondering, where's Aquaman? Where's Robin? Well, according to the tie-in comic that came packaged with the collector's edition of the game, the mergers wiped them out from existence. Hmm. Sucks to be them. Aside from the story mode, the obligatory arcade mode allows you to go head-to-head -head with either the MK characters, the DC characters, or a mix of both. Versus mode is available in both online and offline forms, and the combo challenge mode teaches you to master all of the unique melee maneuvers at each character's disposal. These tidbits range from pathetically easy to ridiculously difficult, and if you're anything like me, this is going to end with players putting the controller down in frustration. As with previous entries into the recent Mortal Kombat series, this one also has a few gameplay quirks to set it apart. First on the list is Freefall Combat, triggered when either you or your enemy is forced out of the arena. As you plummet to the ground below, you can wail on your opponent to fill up your power bar before pressing the left bumper to deliver the final blow. However, if you're on the receiving end of this punishment, you'll need to match your opponent's button presses in order to regain the upper hand. In a similar vein is the Close Combat option. Not only does this see players having to once again press the same button as their opponent to avoid getting their faces smashed in, but it also does a great job of showing off the bruises, bleeding, and clothing damage sustained during battle. Test Your Might makes a return appearance and sees combatants slamming each other through the nearest wall, with the player mashing the four face buttons to either deal or negate damage, depending on the circumstances. And last but not least, the aforementioned Combat Rage can be acquired by taking damage, and once activated, it provides a temporary strength boost that makes you virtually invincible. The controls on offer are easy to use, and I can honestly say I didn't have a lot of trouble using the Xbox 360's directional pad, aside from occasionally fudging the finishing moves. The X and Y buttons provide weak and strong punch attacks, while the A and B buttons correspond to the respective kicks. 
In addition, the right trigger will block incoming attacks, while the left and right bumpers respectively cause you to either throw your opponent or initiate close combat. And of course, being that this is a 3D Mortal Kombat game, the left analog stick can be used to sidestep incoming attacks. The graphics, handled using the Unreal Engine 3, actually look pretty damn good, and as I said before, it's great to be able to see all of the pain you're inflicting on your opponent, as well as any that your character has acquired. Everything looks nice and moves at a smooth frame rate, barely dipping at all except on the odd occasion during cutscenes. The character models are wonderfully detailed, and the environments are perfectly evocative of their source materials. Let's face it, there's nothing quite as cool as putting up your dukes in the goddamn Batcave. The music does a solid job of adding to the atmosphere, although I'm sad to say that none of it wound up getting stuck in my head. The voice acting, on the other hand, is actually surprisingly good. Who is that man, and what are you doing in Gotham? Batman! This freak tried... He tried to kill me! And now I'm gonna return the favor! No, you're not. It's clear something's wrong with you. The Flash I know doesn't kill. <laughs> he does now. Well, good for a Mortal Kombat game, and the dialogue understandably carries a cheesy, almost B-movie tone to it, which I grew to like as the game progressed. As with just about any game out there, this one's also got a few issues to speak of. My first real gripe of the title is the combat rage in that I found it to be completely useless as a gameplay mechanic unless competing against other people. In fact, the only time I ever triggered it against an AI opponent was during my encounter with the final boss, and even then, that's only because, in typical Mortal Kombat boss fashion, he spams the crap out of his ultra-powerful attacks and barely gives you any room to move. Even so, I appreciate that something that could have simply remained a story element was brought over into actual gameplay. And what would any Mortal Kombat game be without the signature fatality moves? Well, frankly, it'd be this. Due to DC's involvement, this game was given a T for Teen rating in the US, which equates to a straight M for Mature rating in Australia. As a result, you won't get to see any of the gratuitous, over-the-top gore that's expected from the series. While there are a couple of nifty looking finishes included in both sides of the camp, the fatalities used by the Mortal Kombat cast and DC villains, as well as the heroic brutalities that the DC heroes use, aren't really anything to write home about. That said, those living in the United Kingdom and Australia will get to see the fatalities used by Joker and Deathstroke completely uncensored, since the US release had them take place off screen. <laughs> <laughs> the Joker wins. Fatality. Finish him. <laughs> Even more heartbreaking is the fact that there's practically nothing in the way of unlockables. In fact, the game offers up only two hidden characters, Shao Kahn and Darkseid. That's it! No downloadable content or anything! Talk about a missed opportunity. When all's said and done, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe is far from being able to stand as successfully as either of the two franchises I mentioned at the beginning of the review, and while I do honestly think that it's an idea best left on paper, it's also not as buttfuck horrible as it gets made out to be. If you're looking for a good laugh and a decent way to kill a few hours, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe is worth a look. <laughs>